What's happening, people? It's James Beardwell, a Witten Town FC super fan. In this video, I'm going to do a Witten Town season review 2018 19. It has been a difficult season for Witten Town, especially in the league. And there's going to be some highs and lows in, in the league. And But for my team, Witten Town, at the end of the season, we, we survived in the league. And. From the first half of the season, we're going to start off away at Coggeshall Town, which is in, in the league, which I think was at the end of August. And when Whitton Town went 1-0 down at half-time, and I did my half-time thoughts, and I was really unhappy at half-time, the way Whitton Town played in the first half away at Coggeshall Town. And then I had Ollie Murs, who was at Coggeshall, came to me at half-time while I was doing my half-time thoughts. I was really unhappy that day. And Ollie Murs jumped in and said something to me. Take a look at this. But anyway, my William Town support was... Rubbish. He's rubbish. <laughs> he's talking rubbish. <laughs> he's talking rubbish. Put me in there, Bill. Look, he's talking rubbish. <laughs> we deserve the victory. One nil so far. Come on, the boys. <laughs> <laughs> this is a former Whitton Town Ollie Murs, by the way. So after that hilarious half-time thoughts when Ollie Murs came to me, the final score it was 2-0 Coggeshall Town when my team Whitton Town lost. 2-0 to Coggeshall Town in, in the league. And that was the final score when we lost 2-0. And I was really unhappy that day. And then Whittam Town played Coggeshall Town at home again. I think it was in the beginning of September in the FA Cup preliminary round replay. And, and I'm, I'm afraid Whittam Town lost 3-1 to Coggeshall Town in the replay. And I did that fantastic interview. Guess what? With Ollie Murs again. Take a look at this. The full time score, Whitton Town 1, Coggeshall Town 3. And here we yeah. got the legend, <laughs> Ollie Murs. Ah, uh, you're right, mate. You're right. Many congratulations, many congratulations to you, Thank you. and your team, Coggeshall yeah. Town. Many congratulations, you absolutely deserve it. He was quiet tonight. <laughs> we couldn't hear you. <laughs> I might have be been a little bit quiet. He was a little bit quiet tonight. Um, yeah. It was a great game. There he is. But everyone was everyone was really lovely. It was a great, you know, a great atmosphere, a lot of fans. Um, I think we controlled the game, I think to be honest. Um, but it was still a competitive game. You guys are a good side, so it was uh, the boys had to beat the race as we was, we got the result. So yeah, thank you very much. So after Whitton Town's 3-1 home defeat against Coggeshall Town in the FA Cup preliminary round replay, and then we turn on to the FA Trophy extra preliminary round on the 28th of September, and guess who Whitton Town playing? Yet again, Coggeshall Town at home. And as we play in Coggeshall Town again in the FA Trophy, can Whitton Town make the revenge by getting a win against Coggeshall Town? So after Whitton Town finally beat Coggeshall Town at home in the FA Trophy Extra Preliminary Round, Whitton Town get to travel in the FA Trophy Preliminary Round away to AFC Dunstable on Friday the 12th of October. It was a really good trip that day to Luton on the train and get a bus to AFC Dunstable. Can Whitton Town get another win away to AFC Dunstable? So what a win for Whitton Town away at AFC Dunstable in the FA Trophy preliminary round. And then to the Essex Senior Cup third round when my team Whitton Town away to Holby Sports on Tuesday the 23rd of October. And it was in that 4-2 defeat that day. And I've remembered I had that massive meltdown after the final whistle because I've never seen the worst ever performance in my 13 year history as a Whitton Town supporter, especially in the first half. And so 
I left straight after the game because I've never seen the worst performance I've seen in my years as a Whitton Town supporter. And I was out for a couple of months until around about mid-December because I had a really difficult two months due to not just when Whitton Town not doing well in the first half of the season. It's for myself as well because I'm going through like depressions and stuff and things are not going pretty well for me as well. And... And then we'll draw attention to the second half of the season. Whitton Town travelled to Grey's Athletic away in January. And can Whitton Town continue the winning streak after that 1-0 win away at Molden Tiptree in December? Can Whitton Town do it away to Grey's Athletic? So after Whitton Town's fantastic 1-0 away win at Grays Athletic in, in the league at the start of a new year, Whitton Town were in 15th in the league, but unfortunately things have gone slightly downhill for Whitton Town in the next few months. And Whitton Town also got a 2-1 home win against Great Wakering Rovers, but unfortunately things have gone slightly downhill for Whitton Town. Whitton Town played Felix Stone and Walton United at home, we was winning 1-0, but unfortunately it was 1-1 against Felix Stone Walton United. And then Whitton Town get to travel away to AFC Sudbury in March. And unfortunately we lost 3-1 in that game. And then Whitton Town get to travel away to fellow strugglers Romford in the 6th of April on Saturday. Unfortunately Whitton Town lost 3-1 away to Romford. And that puts my team, Whitton Town, sliding into 18th in the league, which is level on points above the relegation zone. And now it's all down to the last game of the season, away to Basden United on Saturday the 27th of April. And it's on Survival Saturday. Can Whitton Town get a win away at Basden United to keep Whitton Town up in the league for next season? What a brilliant end to the season it's been. Whitton Town survived on the last day of the season after Whitton Town's 2-0 away win at Basden United. Despite Romford's 3-1 win against Felix Stone Walton United, but Romford are relegated on the lower goal difference. And Whitton Town stayed up for next season in the Bostick League Division 1 North for next season with a much better goal difference. We level on points with Romford. Whitton Town with a better goal difference that keep Whitton Town up for next season. And now in John Watson's testimonial match, it was in that 2-2 draw with Whitton Town against the Legends. And that's John Watson's farewell match against the Legends of Whitton Town. And... It's been 11 years for John Watson to play for Whitton Town. And we'd like to thank you, John Watson, for all the service you've given for Whitton Town. 
and we'll hopefully see you again soon, John Watson. And what a great end to the season it's been for Whitton Town. And let's hope Whitton Town will have a stronger season next season. We'll hopefully get new players of Whitton Town next season. And hopefully Whitton Town will have a stronger season next season. And that's it. Hopefully you have a good summer break. In my next Whitton Town vlog, we'll be in Whitton Town's pre-season match on the, on the next match day vlog. Have a good summer.